in the given example value of p is equal to 7 and value of q is equal to 11 and our plain text is given that is m is equal to 9. Now we have to find out the value of our public key, private key and the value of ciphertext. So the first step is we have to write down value of our p and q. So our p is equal to 7 and q is equal to 11. What is the next step? We have to identify the value of n is equal to p into q. We have to take the product of our two prime numbers that is 7 into 11 is equal to 77. In the third step, we have to calculate value of phi of n. So, phi of n is nothing but p minus 1 into q minus 1. So, the p minus 1 and the q minus 1 is equal to 7 minus 1 and 11 minus 1 is equal to 6 into 10. And we got the value of phi of n is equal to 60. In the fourth step, we have to select the value of public key. In the given example, value of E is missing and value of D is also missing. So, how we can identify the value of public key as well as our private key? So, for selecting the public key, the formula says that our value of A should be in between 1 and 5 of N. And that is not a factor of phi of n. So, we have to check out these two rules. First of all, your value of E is between 1 and phi of n and also it is not a factor of our phi of n. As well as the value of our GCD of E comma phi of n is equal to Whenever we are considering the number 60, so what are the factors of that 60? 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. And when we are considering the prime number, then our prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on. What is our first rule for identifying the value of E? it should not be factor of phi of n. So, whenever we are considering this prime number, then we cannot take the 2 as a e, 3 and 5. So, this number we cannot consider it as for value of our e, that is our public key, because value of our public key should not be factor of phi of n. So, let's choose the value of e is equal to 7. So, our value of e is equal to 7. That is the value of our public key. Based on the value of our public key, we need to identify the value of our private key. So, for form formula for calculating the private key is equal to D into E mod of phi of n is equal to 1. Here we have choose the relative prime number of our value 60. So the relative prime number of 60 is equal to E is equal to 7. So according to the formula, our value of our public key, we got the value 7. So based on this formula, that is D into E mod of phi n is equal to 1. We need to identify the value of our D. So, for identifying the value of our D, we can also write D is equal to 1 plus K into phi of n divided by E. And we have to put the value of K is equal to 0 in the first iteration till we got the value of our D. We have to put the value of k is equal to 0, then k is equal to 1 until so on. And we have to check whether we got the value of our d. But this method is not feasible when the value of d should be, k should be large. That's why we need to find out the other method 
we have to find out the value of our d by using the other method that is called as extended euclidean algorithm according to this method we have to identify now the value of our d according to the extended euclidean algorithm we have to identify the value of our d so let's we have to first of all a take a columns that is quotient then value of our a b remainder value of t1 t2 and t so your value of a is nothing but your value of phi of n and value of our b is nothing but your value of either e or d in this example we have the value of our e is equal to 7 so that's why we are writing here b is equal to 7 and value of our phi of n is 60 so we are writing here value of a is equal to 60 in t1 and t2 initially we have to consider the value 0 and 1 now we are solving and we are completing this table so first of all we have to identify 60 divided by 7 So 60 divided by 7, our quotient will be 8, and our remainder is 4. Now let's shift that value 7 into a and 4 into b. So 7 divided by 4 is nothing but 4 ones are 4, and our remainder is 3. Again, we have to shift the value of 4 in a and value of 3 in b. Again, four divided by three is equal to quotient is equal to one and remainder is equal to one. Now again, shift the value of three into a and one into b. So three divided by one is equal to one. Sorry, three and your value is equal to zero. Now again one and this is your zero. whenever we got the value of b is equal to 0 then we can stop this procedure here we cannot get the value of quotient and remainder now let's go with the second part that is t1 is equal to 0 and t2 is equal to 1 how we can identify the value of t so t is equal to t1 minus t2 into quotient so value of t1 is equal to 0 minus 1 into quotient is equal to 8 after identifying the value of this equation we got the value of t is equal to minus 8 now we have to shift the value of 1 into t1 and value of minus 8 into t2 same again form from this formula we have to identify the value of t so value of t is equal to t1 minus t2 into quotient so our t1 is equal to 1 minus t2 that is minus 8 into quotient is equal to 1 is equal to we get the value that is 9 so you have to write down the value of 9 in the column of t so let's solve this for all these values then we got here minus 8 then 9 and our value of t is equal to minus 70 according to this formula that is t1 minus t2 into quotient now let's shift the value 9 into t1 and minus 17 into t2 so according to this formula that is t is equal to t1 minus t2 into quotient we got the value 60 again we have to shift minus 17 here and 60 here but we don't have to calculate the value of t once we got the value of b is equal to 0 then we have to stop this procedure for quotient remainder as well as t now our value of t1 is equal to minus 17 and value of t2 is equal to 60 we got the value of t1 is equal to minus 17 here we have to identify the prime implicative of our value for minus 17 and 60 so we we have calculated here that is 17 that is minus 17 plus 60 we got the value 43 so 43 is the value of our d that is private key so according to the extended euclidean algorithm we got 
अवर प्राइवेट की वैल्यू दैट इज डी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी थ्री 